Because first and foremost, we need to recognize that there is an affordable housing crisis in Canada. Il y a une crise de logement abordable au An Canada. Affordable housing crisis in Canada. I understand that uh, this morning, uh, Mr. Trudeau announced the Liberals' plan for affordable housing. Uh, and I would say to that that uh, if anyone, any party, fully understood the urgency of the affordable housing crisis in this country, uh, then they would be planning to return to Ottawa as soon as possible to get urgent action done. In the last session of Parliament, our MPs, and particularly our MP Paul Manley from Nanaimo Ladysmith, led a request for an emergency debate on affordable housing, a motion recognizing the crisis in affordable housing, uh, mo letters to the minister requesting detailed urgent action on affordable housing. And so my question would be to Mr. Trudeau and the Liberals, why, if you understood the crisis and why, if you are introducing a plan today, did you not, A, support any of those initiatives in the House when you had the opportunity in the last session, and B, why are we in this election? And I think I'm going to be asking that question every day. Why are we in this election instead of getting to the work at hand? instead of getting people the urgent help that they need, because they do need that help. Uh, we have recognized in our National Housing Strategy Act that housing is a fundamental right. Il y a un droit fondamental à l'accès à le access logement abordable et on l'a reconnu a dans notre right, stratégie nationale à le logement. National Housing Strategy. Despite that, and even before the pandemic hit, we had almost 2 million Canadians living in unsuitable, inadequate or unaffordable housing, and almost 2.5 million more who experienced core housing needs in 2020. Here in this community of Toronto Centre, just around the corner in St. Jamestown, a quarter in the last census, a quarter of people were living in inadequate housing and half were living in unaffordable housing. Ici à Toronto Centre, plus d'un quart de tous les résidents spend more than 50% of their income on housing and electricity and utilities. And this is one of the top 20 least affordable ridings in the entire country for rental housing. The medium in income is 39000 while the average one-bedroom costs 2300 So you do the math and tell me how people are going to manage to make ends meet. Everyone is worried about housing. If you have a home, you may be worried about whether your children will ever be able to afford a decent place to live. If you are low income, you may be stuck in unsuitable housing because there is no affordable option for you. And so this is something that is a failure. It is something that has gotten worse. Uh, and we know that um, the situation has been exacerbated during the pandemic. And so it is no surprise to anyone who has been following the Green Party that of Canada and of Ontario, that we have made access to affordable housing a top priority uh, for, uh, for our, ourselves and for the people of Canada. First and foremost, we need to recognize that the problem exists and we need to, uh, we need to declare a housing and homeless, homelessness as national emergencies and twin crises. And I say this uh, again, pointing out that we called for this months ago, uh, exactly in recognition. Il faut reconnaître que et déclarer que nous sommes dans une crise nationale de We are in a we national need to housing crisis. What affordable housing means using a better and updated formula. We need to immediately appoint a person that is going to um, ensure that uh, we get action within the infrastructure of the federal government by appointing the federal housing advocate as was envisaged in the National Housing Strategy Act. The reason that we should be back in Ottawa now, as opposed to on the election trail, is that people need urgent help now because we are in a pandemic. We know that there are renters, low-income renters in this community that are at risk of eviction at any time. 
We have heard from housing advocates that we uh, can expect a wave of evictions when moratoriums are lifted. Alors, mon, maintenant, c'est le moment de créer une prestation d'urgence pour uh, les locataires résidentiels de faible revenu. This is the time for us to be creating a retroactive residential tenant support benefit for those people to ensure that they have a place to live and that they don't have the specter of eviction hanging over their heads. We also need to make sure that we are strengthening um, our regulations in order to limit foreign investment and to end predatory practices in residential real estate. A house is a home. It is not a commodity. It is not there for speculation. It is there first and foremost to be a place that people should live. And then as we stand here in, uh, in co you know, a co-op community, a beautiful co-op community, we need to recognize that it has been decades, decades since the government has invested properly in social housing, not-for-profit housing, cooperative housing, community supportive housing. Nous n'avons pas fait les investissements nécessaires pour assurer l'accès au logement abordable, surtout à le logement sans but lucratif et coopératif et qui peut soutenir les gens qui ont besoin de ça. Et donc, now is the time to do that, to enhance the housing benefit, to expand the rapid housing initiative, uh, to build and acquire a minimum of 300,000 units of deeply affordable non-market co-op, non-profit housing over the next decade, to refocus the core mandate of the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation towards supporting development of affordable non-profit and cooperative housing. It's incredibly important to give people an alternative to having to buy a home. Uh, there have to be ways, other ways for people to access housing. We need also to ac increase access for housing uh, for people with disabilities. And certainly, if we are going to work hand in hand with our provincial partners, we should have a Minister of Housing overseeing the implementation of all of this. Uh, alors, il faut avoir un plan we need an de ambitious reinvestment plan into uh, affordable uh, housing, and we need to create a new file for a Minister of Housing to work with the provinces cooperatively to ensure that the investments are made and then collaborate to attack this crisis as soon as possible. Finally, ensuring access to housing for Indigenous peoples. We continue to fail to be guided by First Nations, Inuit and Métis, people, Na Métis Nation peoples in terms of developing inclusive and culturally appropriate urban Indigenous housing strategies. Indigenous leadership is ready to do just that, to lead the way. And so this is the time for us to not only work in collaboration, but to be led and to be guided uh, by, uh, by the associations who know what is needed and know how best to serve their own communities. This is just the beginning, and of course we will be, uh, we will be presenting all of the details of all of the aspects here. But we have got to first start by recognizing that if we view this as a challenge, and we agree it is, and we've heard the Liberal Party, the NDP Party, the Conservative Party, our party, the Bloc, all say that this is a critical priority, then let's get to work. Let's get to work together cooperatively and collaboratively to do this as quickly as possible because it is that urgent. Um, the Green Party stands ready to do that, uh, both with the other national parties and also, of course, with our provincial counterparts. C'est le moment de, de reconnaître la crise. C'est le moment de. All right, just uh,